From the U.S. Soccer Federation in Chicago, welcome to Studio 90. We are now joined live from London by U.S. Men's National Team defender Jonathan Spector. Jonathan, we might be pigeonholing you a bit, calling you defender now. When we spoke to you last before Christmas, you just moved into the central midfield for West Ham. Now you've played out wide and even behind the attackers. What? Give us an update on the last month. Um, yeah, I mean, I've played in a, a number of relatively new positions this past month. Um, I think uh, I mentioned I played on the, on the right of the a midfield of four. Um, I've played just underneath the striker in a, 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 you know, a five-man midfield. So it's been, uh, it's been kind of a new experience, uh, a learning experience uh, each and every game. But I certainly enjoyed um, the new kind of more forward role that, I, that I've been given. Um, and uh, it's something I'm, I'm growing into uh, each and every game, and uh, I think it's somewhere I'd, I'd, I'd like to play um, in the future, uh, given the opportunity for both club uh, and country. In addition to the changes you've made in positions, Jonathan, you've also scored your first Premier League goal, and you got it against Everton and your old pal from U.S. Soccer, Tim Howard. Yeah, no, it's true. It was... Uh, Disappointing not to get a win. We ended up drawing that game, but uh, yeah, for me personally, I was delighted to get uh, my first Premier League goal after uh, being here for uh, quite a few years. Um, and uh, yeah, it was even sweeter that it came against uh, against him. Uh, he's been a great goalie um, the entire time he, he's been in England. Um, so uh, I was able to uh, give him a little stick afterwards. I texted him after the game and, and told him that my first goal came at his expense and and thanked him for that, but uh, he took it pretty well, and uh, now he said he, uh, he was happy for me and glad he could help. <laughs> Jonathan, for West Ham, a game against Birmingham on the weekend. You faced him in the Carling Cup semifinals. We also saw that you've got a bit of a hamstring issue. What's your status for this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I certainly want to get back playing against Birmingham, uh, particularly since they beat us um, in that cup game was uh, really disappointing to, to miss out on the final at Wembley. But uh, as you mentioned, I picked up a little bit of a hamstring injury. Um, hopeful to be back um, for the game Saturday against them. I uh, would certainly like to get a win, and it's, it's important for us. They're only uh, one place above us in the league, and uh, a win against them would, would take us out of um, the relegation zone for the, the first time in a little while, which would be nice as well. But uh, for me personally, um, you know, I'm hopeful I'll be back, but I'm, I'm, I'm not certain yet. Jonathan, we've also noticed that it's a new year and a new look for you. What's up with the, uh, the new haircut? Um, well, uh, yeah, I've had a, a bit of mixed reviews on, uh, on the decision to, to buzz my hair, but uh, um, I think it was just time for a change, and um, I'm kind of enjoying the low maintenance um, of it right now. Well, Jonathan, thanks for taking the time. We hope you're, to see you back this weekend. And you can follow Jonathan and the rest of the U.S. men's national team for their next friendlies when they'll take on Argentina on March 26th in New Jersey and March 29th against Paraguay in Nashville. Tickets are available on ussoccer.com. That's it for this edition of Studio 90. We'll see you next time.